What is up everybody, Arctic Platypus here, and I'm going to bring you a pretty quick review on Shadow Warrior back from 2013. I know Shadow Warrior 2 just came out, and maybe this video might appeal to those of you who want to play Shadow Warrior 2, but also want to play Shadow Warrior from 2013 before that, and I don't want to call it Shadow Warrior 1, because the original Shadow Warrior was back from the 90s. Anyway, so this review... Just to clarify, is on Shadow Warrior from 2013, not the one that just released. Um, I also probably will review the one that just released. But anyway, this one's from 2013. And so this Shadow Warrior is a lot more simple than Shadow Warrior 2, as you might expect. Um, there's not that many guns. Okay, but first, let me just back up a little bit. So the gun, the game is pr a pretty simple concept. It's a lot more similar to the old school first person shooters like Doom, the original Doom, like the original Shadow Warrior, like the original uh, Wolfenstein and whatnot. That kind of level design. It's just a linear level design. You go through, you collect uh, little pickups like health and ammo and the occasional gun. Other than that, there's no really looting aspect to the game. Um, you kill enemies. You go through, kill enemies, pick up a few an ammo drops, health drops, all that kind of stuff. And that's pretty much it. You ha and in Shadow Warrior, rather than just having guns, you have your katana, you have some special skills um, to level up, and you have like your yeah, you have your skills which are leveled up through karma. You have your powers, um, which are you can level up by getting these points from these crystals thing, the, the, the chi crystals, I think, and then there's also, uh, you can upgrade your weapons, there's certain modifications you can apply to some weapons, and that's pretty much the game, but it's really fun because the combat's just awesome, and it's really fun to just use the katana, you could actually probably play the entire game with the katana, well, I mean, some bosses you really do want some ranged weaponry, but I'm sure some people probably could do just the katana. And the katana is really fun to use. You can slice and dice, there's a lot of good gore. It's really, really fun, and if you're just looking for a good experience that can challenge you, give you a good laugh, this game will really be good for you. If you want a more complex game where you have to do more thinking, eh. You might not want to go for this, but there are some good combos you can do with your swords that might add some complex thinking elements to the game. So you can do like a little swirly move with uh, like the strafe right or strafe left. Actually, sorry, I think it might just be strafe left key along with your mouse button, and that. And it's also like a forward stab motion. And there's there's other combinations there's a lot of different key combinations but they're really simple it's basically mostly just like one key with a mouse button it's pretty simple easy to do and it just as for an awesome game because you just go through it's really simple you're just killing enemies and doing the occasional level up you're just having a good time and you can crank up the difficulty if you're looking for a good challenge and Lo Wang the main character is hilarious I mean, the jokes are so bad that they're funny. It, it, it's that kind of humor, and if you're into that, you're really going to like this game. It's just some awesome humor. Um, I mean, it's it's a funny story. It's not it's not taking itself too seriously. I mean, the whole premise of the story is you're trying to level up this katana. Demons broke into the world and whatnot. I don't know, it's just a pretty good story. I beat it pretty fast. I'm probably going to go back through, but I'm currently playing Shadow Warrior 2. Anyway, just a great game. Um, I mean, so much to do, even though there's really not that many elements to the game. I mean, there's this, these cool secrets that you can find, which are really funny. There's some uh, little rooms that uh, are, like, pixelated, and they're exactly the same as like a room you may, f you may have found in the original Shadow Warrior from the 90s. And it's just really funny to see these little things, these little rooms, these secrets um, in the game. There's like pixelated anime girls taking showers, stuff like that. And if you come across those, they're just really funny. And it kind of lightens up the game. Because it's kind of, I mean, I could see if, if there weren't any of these humorous elements, it might just get too serious to handle sometimes. 
but it's just such a fun game. There's, uh, I mean, not that many complex elements, of course, but just the way they crafted the combat, Flying Wild Hog, the developers, made such good decisions to have Katana be so powerful, yet not too powerful. And then they balanced the guns well and whatnot, all the upgrades, the way you earn money. It just all works really well. But, I mean, if you're really not looking to spend that much money on it, that makes sense. I would probably wait till the game's like 4 bucks on Steam. It goes to like 90% off. So don't worry about that $40 price tag. You can actually pick it up for $4. <laughs> and that's a pretty good price for this game. I mean, you can put quite a few hours into it. I don't have like a ton of hours, but... A few weeks ago, I just cranked out a bunch of time, and the graphics for 2013 are crazy good. I don't understand it. They look amazing. I mean, I am running at 1440p, um, but, I mean, the optimization is great, too. Like, I, I mean, I do have a 1070, a GTX 1070, but at 1440p, I was able to get, like, 200 frames consistently. That's just amazing. Shadow Warrior 2 isn't quite so optimized. But anyway, I mean, it's still pretty damn good. Shadow Warrior, great game, great graphics, great fun, good combat, just excellent game. I really don't have anything bad to say about it. I, I actually can't think about anything bad. I mean, you'll probably like this game. If you don't, well, you might not, but hopefully you do. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, and have a wonderful day.